Welcome. Today we're going to take you through the steps you need to go through to bring data in from a CSV file and visualize it using Python inside a Jupyter Notebook. We'll start off by giving this thing a clever name. And we're going to start off importing the libraries that we need. First thing is pandas for our data frame. We're also going to need to import the CSV library to read in the headers of the file. I'll get into that in a little bit more later. We're going to need the matplotlib pyplot for some of our visualization that we plan on here in just a little bit. Because this CSV file has date and time, we need to import the date time function, date time library, and we're going to need numpy as well. This gets used a couple times, so it's easier just to define it as a variable. And the file is open here on the right, and it's worth taking a few minutes to look at the file and do a little exploration before jumping into the code. This file is structured the way I see oscilloscopes and other data collection instrumentation often doing it. There's some rows that are dedicated for metadata or data that's not relevant to the signal, and then there's another section of the file that has a high density data in here. And my approach for this is to take these first few rows, we'll treat those separately using the CSV reader, and then for this larger puddle of data down here, we'll use the pandas data frame to bring it all in at once and visualize it that way. All right, first thing we're going to need to do is to open the file. And we might as well get CSV Reader fired up as well. With that open, we can bring in that first row of text here. And this is what's called header. We're going to bring those in, look at them here, and then use them to label the data frame later. Please. Looks pretty good. OK, this next one's a little more complicated because it's a date time, and it's in ISO format. So this is one of the entries here. There's a date, there's a time, with a millisec millisecond suffix and a UTC offset. The nice thing about uh, the date time library is it handles that format natively. So let's bring that in as a string. That looks pretty good. And we're going to use a map function to convert each relevant field, that is each field that has a date and time, into an actual date time value. And we'll put that in a numpy array. So we're going to use something called the map that allows us to take one function, apply it iteratively to each element in the list. We don't want to apply it to this first element, so I'm going to skip that. All right, that looks pretty good. The next row is the sampling frequency. So we're going to want to bring that in as an array of doubles. We're going to follow the same convention technique that we did above, using that map function to convert this to a float. Again, skipping over that first element. OK, that looks pretty good. We've got an array of floats. We're done reading the headers in. Let's make sure we close the file out. And with pandas, there's only one command that we need to issue to read this in, but it does have some parameters in there that we're going to want to specify. Want the file name. We don't want it to try to read the header from the file. We've already defined that. We do want to skip some rows. These first five rows aren't used. And we're going to want to use those CSV header values that we read in earlier. Data frame looks good. Let's use matplotlib to take a look at the data. We just want to look at channel 1. And we're going to add access labels to this as well. All right. 
that's it. We were able to take that data, bring it in from CSV file to this Jupyter notebook and visualize it. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found the video useful. If so, please subscribe and hit that like button.